Hi, this is Joseph. It is Monday, September 21st, 2015, and I just wanted to do a quick review on the trades we executed with the Trade Cop. And we did have a bank holiday, which was in the uh, in Japan. And whenever there is a bank holiday, really depending on which uh, country that holiday actually occurs, if it's a major bank holiday, on those particular days we might not be trading during that particular trading session so we didn't trade really all that much during the Asian session but we did resume our trading on a regular schedule for the London and New York session we had a uh, sell opportunity here on the euro yen uh, that earned us approximately 18 pips to the downside that was after that bounce here and that retracement on the 382 uh, pullback on the Fibonacci uh, just above the 136 it was also sort of fading the double zero now I didn't hold on to it all that long because we were leading into the New York trading session and uh, again on days where there is a bank holiday we tend to see price moving sideways it doesn't guarantee or say that for sure it's going to be moving sideways and it's not going to move that all that much uh, some days just like this it does move a little bit more than I expect but I did take some short profits quick profits here on the euro yen and then I did the same thing a few hours later we sold here the pound yen so I focused here on these two yen crosses but it was after during and it was during the London and New York trading session and this one here earned us approximately 24 pips selling it here on that retracement as well again going right through that double zero sort of fading it there and not really holding on to it for too long just because of the type of uh, trading environment that we're in now but we do have some consolidation ranges that are set in place at this moment uh, originally we started off with this price swing high here and you'll notice that it really didn't close above that resistance here that resistance is 187.15 approximately so I'm gonna leave it there for now but I am going to incorporate the fact that price did make a spike high so this would be my overall consolidation range this week's high which was today's high here on the pound yen and then the low from last week over here on that retracement or that pullback that's my consolidation range so I'm gonna be looking for some continuation breakout trades on Tuesday and Wednesday I don't know exactly when I'm going to get them or see them but I am looking for them and the ranges and the movement that were created today really gives me a good opportunity to isolate these consolidation ranges looking for the breakouts and on the breakouts we earn much more than we do than uh, when we normally trade the HL 30 or the tech one trade so it was a pretty good trading day we earned approximately 43 pips today now if you'd like to use the trade copy you're gonna get trades just like this now we don't use anything larger than a 55 pip stop loss and as soon as you sign up you can immediately get instant access to the trade copier you can get the trade copier installed on your MetaTrader platform in about 15 minutes or less if you need any assistance we're available to help you install it personally we can use live chat or a uh, team viewer and we can install the trade copier for you and you can get the very next trade that I execute that's how quick the installation process is it's very easy works on any MetaTrader 4 platform if you like this video and you want to get more information about these trading strategies, please click the subscribe button so that you can get instant notification when I put up a brand new video tutorial. Or you can visit my website right now by clicking the visit my website button and I have some free trading manuals for you and extra video lessons with some special discount offers to use my Forex signal service that will automatically execute all of these trades for you onto your MT4 account.